One more day, everybody. One more day before Cook 22's video of him getting his cheeks clapped out by his wife is finally on the releases of the world. It is almost time, my friend. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy, Simsar, back at it again with a brand new video. It's been nearly a year since I've uploaded a legitimate video, but don't worry, I'm not dead. Today, as we kind of already said, Cut 22, aka Add 22's wife, Landa Plug, gets raw docked by straight BBC action. And now, you know, uh, they're going to release the video tomorrow aka like in a few like 45 minutes to, like today type crap you know what i'm saying now do not mind the quality you know i'm recording straight from my laptop not even the macbook because i haven't paid my computer fees straight from my other laptop which i ended up jailbreaking and making my own but i just want to talk more about the situation because i never really had the chance because there's been a lot of things i've been going down lately me and my friend did start a podcast the added gamers podcast which we have not it's already yet, but we do have an episode ready. Go check it out when we release it. I'll let y'all guys know when we do release it. Good shit. Now, talk about the situation. Adam22. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I have no respect for this guy whatsoever. He ruined his No Jumper podcast. He leveraged off of creators and, you know, all that. And basically, he's just a bad person overall. And of course, if y'all do guys do not know, he also does um a little bit of P. P dash star, you know what I'm saying? With his wife, Lena the Plug. Now, as you guys know, heard recently, this man let his wife get raw docked by straight BBC. You know what I'm saying? And Tomorrow is the day that it drops. Best believe I am pirating that shit as soon as it comes out, my nigga. <laughs> Cause like is it for like it is just terrible overall. You know what I'm saying? Now I said for let me go dips in their marriage. Ever since they got together and all that, girlfriend, boyfriend type crap, they've been doing plenty of P star videos with girls. And said for a few I think like two weeks back, he let his wife have a choice to smash a dude, right, for money, even though bro is worth five million dollars and could easily afford the rest of his lifestyle for the rest of his life and his daughter, which I kind of feel bad for her, but I'll talk more about that later. But no, for the money that he's not going to get paid much, he decided I'm going to let my wife smash some random guy. Now, she did not go for no normal guy. She didn't go for no average small dick nigga or you not even a medium size nah she went for straight bbc 13 inch rocket launcher my nigga and <laughs> it is crazy now as you guys know adam 22 has been on a constant mental decline ever since this go check out his twitter page bro it is sad telling people to become coach and shit like adam uh, logan paul leaves like his wedding picture Niggas talking about we should let his wife his wife. Bro talking about how only weak men don't let don't cut don't call don't let their wife cut. I'm like nigga, that is the exact opposite of what a no. That is the only that is the exact opposite of what a strong man is supposed to be. No strong man lets their wife smash another dude, regardless of situation. Now of course there are those unrealistic situations. That maybe it comes in play. But for 99% of the time, the weak man is the man who just allows, allows the, their wife to get cut. Now, of course, he embraced this. But as we all know from the interviews, bro's mental state is on a rapid decline. And shit like that. Now, there's one thing I want to talk about more than anything. It's his daughter. Now, every podcast he's been on. Everyone has been bringing up, what about your daughter? What about your kid? And all that. But I want to explain, because I've been wanting to say things that no one else has been saying and all that. Your daughter is going to get relentlessly bullied, my nigga. No kid is going to 
allow your daughter to fly. Now, let me let me point out a double standard that somewhat makes sense, right? Now, of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, why weren't y'all talking about it when Adam-22 was sleeping with other women, but y'all want to talk about when his wife did it with another man? Now, this is a double standard. There's a lot of double standards in society that make sense, right? Like how women's not physically capable of being like working as well as a man is, and so therefore that's a double standard that makes sense because of biological genes. It's just not in the female's genes to be as strong as the average man. Kind of same situation here. Of course, when when a guy like it's simple, like it all comes down to the legendary quote: "A key that can lock many locks is a master key." A lock that is opened by many keys is a shitty lock. Now, of course, if, like, I'm thinking of the kids area, like, um, middle school, elementary kids. If, think about it like this. If your dad, like, put yourself in his daughter's shoes. If your dad was sleeping around with a bunch of women, do you really think you're going to get bullied? I mean, think about it. In school, people are still making your mom jokes. Name the last time you ever heard of your dad joke. Never. People don't even talk about other people's dads because it's just not worth it, you know? Now, your mom jokes, super popular. Like he said before, they still exist till this day. I go to a kid right now, they're going to be talking about my mom or some shit like that. Especially going like some of these kids, like, oh, I fuck your mom, stuff like that, no little nigglets. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be talking about that shit, right? Now, think of it from this perspective. Your mom, not your dad, your mom has recently came out that she had sex with another man. That isn't your dad. I said for it's a double standard that makes sense because that's just how society works. Your the dad is if your dad was only doing porn, no one's gonna care. In fact, you might be praised. As far as I'm concerned, of what I've already experienced, because I even have like a friend or two whose dad did have a lot of sex with a bunch of other women. And they got praised for it. You know, because therefore, uh, guys, boys are supposed to be meant to be in this area that we can find a woman, right? And except for, look at biological nature. Nature is multiple guys fight for one girl. Of course, that doesn't make sense because now there's just more women population than there is guys. Most because we're like dying on a battlefield and all that shit. But for the most part, there's... Multiple guys fighting for one female. But if it's one guy and multiple women are fighting for him, it's seen as respectful because it's rare. I said for that's a privilege only the top 10% of guys in the world's population could afford to have. If you ain't one of those top 10 guys, supermodel looks, 8-pack abs, not even 6-pack, 8-packs, you know what I'm saying? 6 plus feet tall, you're not getting that. No, regardless, you're not getting that unless you're rich. In which that is part of the requirements. You have to be super rich in order to do that too. Which said for nine, the ninety percent of us cannot afford. So of course it's respectable for Adam Twenty Two when he's dealing with multiple women. Of course, no one talked about it because again, if you look at human uh, nature, it's, it's seen as something more respectable. Or something that is honorable. Not honorable. It's not honorable in the slightest. But it's seen as something that you can, someone could look up to. When a female does it, as said for women are the gatekeepers to sex and relationships. Which a lot of guys always like to say, oh, men are the gatekeepers to relationships. And I think that's a damn lie. I said for look at nature. Women control who they want to be with. Control the sex life. Anytime it came to the other partner besides protecting and providing, and I guess housework, if you want to count humans, shit like that. Most of the time, the women, woman had control. I said for relationships, the guy asked the girl out, the girl could decide yes or no. The guy asked the girl to have sex, the girl could say yes or no. That's kind of how this all works. So that's why I don't believe women had have access to both relationships and sex. But at the end of the day, if women are the ones who have access to this ability, it's always seen as shameful for her to go with multiple guys. Because said for... You have the ultimate ability to choose your lifelong partner. It's not the guy who chooses. It's the girl who chooses at the end of the day. That's, that's, that's why I want to claim that. That's why the double standard is shit like that. So, of course, 
That kid is going to get relentlessly bullied because I, I, I think Adam 22, because we all know that Adam 22 is satanic. You know, now satanic Satanism is not worship of Satan, like the entity. It's more of worshiping of thyself. Sacrificing everything to become successful. That's what Satan, being satanic means. Anyone who thinks Satanism is worshiping Satan himself or anything like that, they're wrong. Straight up. They're, they're wrong. And I said for this nigga made the dumb decision of letting his wife smash a ultimate BBC. And if you all guys heard, it took a week for her area to heal up properly. A week, my nigga. I don't care who you are. You did not kill yourself or over that. You must have been born to be a cuck. I'm just saying, nigga. <laughs> you must you must have been born to do so. Cause I if I was in his shoes, I would I would have already been up there, nigga. <laughs> I said if I don't know why they got married, if I'm being honest, because they did it before they got married, which made sense. And I don't know why they got married. I said for Satanism is worship all that stuff. Now I do know that like marriage is not a Christian thing. Now it is a Christian thing inside like it is like to be like proper Christian, you need to get married and all that. But we did not create Christianity. Like Christianity did not create marriage. But even that is the case, they still got the whole thing of marriage wrong. Marriage is you, one other person, only you and one other person, reproduce as advocate. That's how you decide to be married in the nature sense. Is the whole point of marriage is to reproduce with one person. And only one person. So I don't know why they got married and knew they were going to continue this peace star stuff because it did not make sense to me in the size. Why y'all get married? Why? Cause I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to figure out the logic behind that. You know, I thought as soon as y'all get married, y'all go throw this sex life stuff away. Let's focus on the family. That's what marriage is all about. No matter if you decide on science, Christianity terms, no matter which term you choose from, that's what marriage is all about. But I guess to these niggas, not the case. Now, I know, I know there's some, like, religions where, like, mostly, like, polyamorous, like, I don't call it polyamorous, I'm be honest, I'm keeping it being with y'all niggas. But, other than that, back to the video. I said for the whole, like, besides foreign countries and, like, Hinduism, Buddhism, where, like, okay, I'm not going to just say those because all that, but I know there's some religions out there that do support multi-person marriage, but it's mostly just a female anyway, except for it makes sense because there's more women in the world than there are guys, so it makes sense regardless. Either way, <clears throat> there's no point of them getting married if they're going to have to continue to have sex with other partners. It doesn't even make sense no matter which religion you want to talk about. It does not make sense. For at least a girl, at least, to go out with other guys. It just doesn't make sense. And of course, set for the fact that the damage is going to do to this child, if the daughter is not going to be mentally damaged by the fact that their parents or, or her parents is going to be sleeping around with a bunch of niggas and all that, it's definitely going to be ruined by the constant bullying that she is going to go through, my nigga. I'm going to stop saying that to me. Let me make myself look more professional. But at the end of the day, she's going to be traumatized. They don't give a crap about how she feels. Except for they're satanic people. It, it makes sense for them not to care about their child. I'll be completely honest. Except for Satanism is worshipping of the self. They don't care about her. If I'm going to be completely honest. The CPS, if niggas could report CPS to her, I would do it personally. If I'm being honest. Except for people who worship themselves should not be in charge of having children. Especially P stars, because I know, like, I know people are gonna say, like, well, it, it's their right to have children and all that. But I think me and anyone logical could agree with me this: not everyone deserves to have children. And as we've seen from their podcast for other people, they don't give a damn about that child. I'm gonna keep it up being with they don't they don't give a damn about her in the slightest. She's gonna grow up thinking that having sex with multiple parties is gonna be okay. If she ain't go, if she already killed herself because of constant bullying and mental pressure she has to go through because of her parents, she's definitely gonna grow up having sex with multiple dudes just so she could fit in the gender that her parents did, which is not okay in the slightest. Now, it's just, it's just terrible for her. But I want to talk about this because 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at unnamed guy. But unnamed guy told me that it was a smart move on Adam's part. Now I know all of you are gonna disagree with this, and I am too. Watch this. He said because they always making money, they constantly making money, and the black guy doesn't make more money off of this. Now, as someone of me who's been in the content thing for nearly a decade now, I could easily tell you that this is completely not true. Here's the thing. His bait, like the guy, because I kind of forgot his name, unnamed BBC, I'm just calling him that. Normal pricing is 4K. But it's already been speculated he's already been paid 10K for the initial fee. And all that, right? Y'all do realize that depending on this, he's going to be continuously paid. That That's kind of how this whole content thing works, right? He gets 10K on the spot. Video hasn't even came out yet. 10K. Just for doing it. For screwing his wife, he got 10K. And now he's going to be continuously paid off of that video. Because I want y'all thinking about it realistically like this. Because therefore he's in the porn industry and all that. P-Star industry. Uh, YouTube, don't, uh, don't don't take me now, please. <laughs> think about it like this. Do you think 4K per scene, he's living a luxury life? Now, most of y'all might think, oh, yes, yeah, sure. But you know how much stamina he has to burn through in order for that to even be realistically possible. Per scene. Unless that nigga is juiced up, that nigga is not doing that every day. Of course, you could also say contracts and all that. But at the end of the day, he's always going to get continuously paid off of that bid. It's the inner business that people always want to forget. Nigga is always is going to be constantly paid for that bid. That's just how this whole thing works. So that's what I want to say is this. Especially because it's the only thing. He's definitely going to get a share of that. I understand me and pretty much every other nigga is going to be pirating that shit, but at the end of the day, he's going to be making more money than they are. If you want to talk about statistics, let's say, because let's say my logic is wrong, which it isn't, but let's say it is wrong. 10K. That video has to generate 10K. Most people already say they're going to pirate it. And you already know, there's already, like, say for if they're going to put it on our OnlyFans, you know how many only fans bypasses I could search up right now that is guaranteed to work to pirate that. Except for it's, it's just not it's not going in his favor whatsoever. Money wise, he still made more money than them. Okay, it gave them oh uh, it gave them uh it, it gave them publicity. Let's talk about that. Adam twenty two pushed away the only entertainment he had because it worked. When you think about Avatar Team, you think black create black artists, black all that, and sex. He already got married, so the sex part for him out there. No jumpers dead. I think we already just stopped this already did this. The only niggas who would go on that show is also cuck lords like this nigga who have a nigga mentality who are successful. In which their ending is coming soon, trust me. And the other the thing is, this does not benefit him whatsoever. This is a this is a thing because it, it, it is a short. This is like the it's like a gunshot. All right, his entire career has been loading the gun. And the end, like when you reach into the career, the gun, like you already done shot the gun, the gun is dead. Right. This thing, when this scene drops tomorrow, the the gun has been shot. It's over. Now, by the way, if y'all want to know, it's 11.46 right now. P.M. That's why I say, keep saying tomorrow because literally in a few hours this thing is going to come out. So, yeah. At the end of the day, except for he's always, like, except for it's not, it does not bring him any good publicity. And of course, I'm going to say, well, it doesn't matter publicity as long as they say your name. Nigga has a family. I said for he's satanic, so I wouldn't expect over care about his family. Keep it being with y'all. But, at the end of the day, his career wraps. You could you could kiss his career goodbye at this point. It's not it's not he's not winning. Regardless. Now, to talk about what he's been having recently. If y'all seen that Aiden Ross podcast, 
Well, 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 Aiden, well, Aiden calls was all on it or a video call. You can search it up right now. We know because as I said before, this is where the master key shitty luck term, term comes in from, right? Because we've already seen on that little video clip that Lena Pug was ready to smash uh, Aiden Ross behind Adam's back. I said for this is this is the double this ever this is double standard that makes sense because I said for when a guy like here's the team depending on which guy most guys it's like one and done deal right like you okay you let me have sex with this one girl okay that's cool but of course at the end of the day we're back to relationship it's just you and me when a girl get a taste of it it's okay now I got a taste of it now I want more you know what I'm saying it's it's like because think about it when Adam told you got married he was done. We have we yet to seen a scene of him and another girl since. But as I said for this woman is already ready to smash dudes behind his back. Scene hasn't even dropped yet. Already ready to do more. As I said for once you once you like I'm gonna tell you guys some advice. Once you allow your girl to get smashed one time, you can throw the relationship away. Once you allow your girl to get smashed by another dude, it takes one time. One time and one good experience for you to just, for that relationship to go straight down him. And I said for the fact, like, you can even tell by the way uh, Adam 22 is reacting, like, Adam 22, you can see in multiple clips that like, this man is feeling regret. And I hope he does. I said for it's not natural to let your girl get smashed by another guy in any way, shape, or form. If you are, then you shouldn't be in a relationship anyway. You'd be in an open relationship, not marriage. Marriage is the most close relationship a relationship can be. But I said for nowadays, relationships are nothing more than jokes to people nowadays. It's simply just a title you can put on your little bot character bio. Literally, that's all it is anymore. People in the West, UK, US specifically, marriage is literally nothing more than a complete joke. And this situation doesn't show you that it is. I don't know which would. You know what I'm saying? But. I said for this man. She's already about to sleep with other guys behind his back. We already know this. We already saw the clip and everything. It is going to be wild. If he's not suicidal. Because I know he will be. As soon as that video drops. Nigga is going to be suicidal. Regard. I don't care. No one says. Because now you're going to be relatively tormented with screenshots. Because I know human I know human psychology, right? As soon as that video drops, this guy is this message is going to be spammed with his naked wife with some random black guy. Screenshots of just blown up. Of just him and his wife. I mean, of his wife getting by some random BBC nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not going to be right. You know what I'm saying? But I said before, if Cuck22 wants to go down this path that leads to just nothing more than end the career, you already done, he, the bad guy who done smash your wife already done made more money than you did. But if you want to go do not down that path, I, I can't say anything, you're a consenting adult, all of that. But I said for cost coaches have actions. Do not, you should, here's what's my one biggest statement. Do not do something if you know you're going to get bullied for it. I said, for he's a Satanist, so he doesn't care about his family. I said, for the mental state of his daughter doesn't mean squat to him. It probably doesn't mean nothing to her either, if I'm being completely honest. Because if they did, she wouldn't have done it. You know what I'm saying? I said, for their daughter means absolutely squats to them. If she would have died the next day, I'm pretty sure they would have even bad an eye. If I'm being honest. But that's just kind of what I want to talk about the situation and, um, I don't think there's really much I want to say besides video drops t tomorrow. I can't wait for it to drop. I'm going to pirate it. I know people are going to blow up his phone. I know he's going to be suicidal and all that. Because therefore, if you've been keeping up with Adam-22, his mental state has been on a rapid decline. The video hasn't even came out yet. And if I'm wrong about the date, the video might come out like a few days later. Video hasn't even came out yet. Bro's mental health is on a rapid decline. That video drops. That nigga's gonna pull. That nigga's gonna pull the trigger. And if he doesn't, his daughter is for sure. Because like, come on, 
it, it, it's gonna get it's gonna be one it's rather gonna be her or him they're gonna one of them gonna commit suicide after this once she realizes when she grows up because one thing i also want to talk about is like because i know like we've seen like other people grow up from like con like content like that like i'm gonna bring a proper example uh kylie jenner right of course, we all know the same thing with her and Raycon. But the difference about why her kids aren't getting bullied for it and why Adam 22 is, and Lana Rose and Pink, every other piece star there is out there, is because when you think of Kylie Jenner, what do you think of? First thing that comes to mind, I know it's not that sex hate. If you do say that, you're rather one of the horniest niggas that ever exist, or you're just lying. The first thing that come up is fashion, probably the mobile video game, the Jenners. The just a little show, whatever. Kanye, so many other things come up in your mind that isn't a sex tape. In fact, most people nowadays generation don't even know about it, unless you watch the show and you saw that her little boy saw an ad on Roblox that basically said that that, that was an ad about that. Other than that, you you don't care. You either don't know about it or you don't care about it. Adam twenty two. What are the first two things that come to mind? No job for podcasts. Sex. And it, it's literally the same thing. Like, it, like literally, since his wife done it, his since that that tape or clip or whatever is going to be connected to him. I said before, his main things is podcast and sex. That's his main two things right there. If his wife does something sex-related, it's automatically tied to him. In fact, well, the first thing that comes to my mind, like, unbiasedly, it's Cuck 22. That's my new nickname for him now. It's Cuck 22. So I said for that kid is going to be... The reason why Kylie Jenner's kids are getting bullied. But as you can see... I've been saying Kylie Jenner... I'm so fucking dumb. I'm d No, no, let's scrap that. I meant... Oh my gosh, they're the same. They're the Kim Kardashian. Kim, Kim Kardashian. Okay, yeah, I know I'm, going cru I'm getting crucified for that one for sure. I'm I'm getting crucified. No, I I I I'm I'm, I'm I'm getting crucified for that one. I'm I'm getting crucified. Yo, I I accept the fate at this point. I'm getting. Yeah, y'all gonna have a field day with this one. I could cut out the video, but I don't want to re re say re say all of that because I don't have time for that. I met Kim Kardashian, the Kardashian show. All right, for scrap scrap all the Kylie Jenner crap. I said for when you have two families that are basically have the same upcomings, it's really hard to differentiate the one from the other. All right, I'm just saying that now. But I make Kim Kardashian uh, ignore all the Kylie Jenner crap. Kylie Jenner have, already have her own issues, you know. I say she's also mental, but let's keep it being here. But yeah, <laughs> please don't kill me. Okay, so anyways, they're gonna get. She's the one. They're gonna be suicidal. Mental state rapid decline. She's already planning on doing more. And as if that clip, we take that clip seriously, she plans on doing it behind his back or without his permission. Which, as we know from Adam 22, he always had permission from his wife, but his wife is already about to have sex with Aiden Ross, which that's, that's a joke, by the way. It's not really serious. But already about to have sex with other guys without his permission. We already done seen the clip and her face already getting exposed. It's been your boy, Simmy. And I'm out. Peace.